<clears throat> Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Uh, I'm on the move. Uh, forgive me, I've been doing a lot of talking this morning between clients and a couple of interviews, so my voice is a little raspy, but uh, work with me. <clears throat> this isn't going to be long, it's sort of a follow-up to uh, a live stream I did earlier today. Um, it's easy to malign the black man. It's easy to talk about where the black man has fallen and where the black man fails. Uh, it's easy to label the black man sorry, trifling, especially when you're looking at narratives that are being written by mainstream media. It's easy to develop a perception of black men in general based on a narrative written by a media that tends to highlight the worst of our uh, species, the worst of the worst. So everything you're fed about black men comes from the bottom of the barrel. Very rarely do you see the best of the best paraded in front of you. Do you see the black men who cover and protect and provide and lead, not by demand, but by action? You very well, you very rarely see that. So it's easy to get that. My issue is in effectively dealing with problems. I'm not one that's big on finding and talking about problems, making a career on lecturing on what the problem is. I have built uh, my legacy on discovering issues and producing solutions. I have been talking about the need for properly socializing young black males for years. We're, we're, we're talking two decades and definitely over the last 15 years. I've been talking about just how important it is to properly socialize young black men, how important it is to have the mechanism in place that overcomes the missing black man, 1.5 million black men missing, meaning that they exist, but they're not in the rotation. They're not active. And we have to have a way to fill that void. We have to have a way to model manhood. We have to have a way to instill and inculcate into the psyches of young black males what it means to be a man, what it means specifically to be a black man, what the challenges of black manhood look like and how they are gifted and prepared and capable of overcoming the obstacles and creating solutions and exhibiting power. That is immensely important, yet it's easy to point the finger. It's easy to sit up and talk about what black men don't do, what black men do wrong. All of that without acknowledging all the black men out there fighting, all the black men out there protecting, all the black men out there covering, all the black men out there putting their families first. It's easy to ignore that and point to the uh, point to the problem. I'm not saying ignore the problem. I'm not saying, well, since we got some black men doing it right, forget that. I'm saying that if we're ever going to see a different dynamic within the black culture, we're going to have to address the fact that we have hurt boys becoming dangerous men. Black male violence isn't the result of an inherently violent species. Black boys aren't born to be violent and dangerous. They aren't born to be criminal minded. They are created by circumstance. They are created by situations. They are created by the failure of our community to proper protect them as children and raise them as men. We're gonna to have to own some culpability in the outplay of what we're seeing in some of our worst case scenarios that the media loves to parade around as the representation of the collective. We've gotta be aware of that. I have been talking about Black Man Lead as a, uh, the rite of passage initiative that I created after studying in depth African-American uh, adolescent and young adult male violence understanding what drives it, understanding how to predict it, understanding how to overcome it, how to redirect anger, how to redirect uh, 
uh, emotional outbursts, how to redirect frustration, how to properly channel the rise in testosterone. I've put in the work. I've talked about it. I've showed you what the, what, what the possibilities are. We are locked into what we love to be locked into, what we seem to be okay with being locked into. That's complaining instead of taking action. That's complaining instead of investing. That's complaining instead of realizing that it's going to take action and a long-term plan to overcome this. What our young boys are going through isn't by accident, it's not a coincidence. They are being undereducated, miseducated, misdirected, um, and so much more. They understand without our men, there's only so much our women, no matter how brilliant, can do. They've created a, 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 a modicum of, or, or a, 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 a environment of hatred between the black man and the white woman, because they know that that frustration and anger will ensure that we don't come together and operate in unity. That's what we are going to have to be aware of. That's what we are going to have to prepare to overcome. We have to see beyond the facade. We have to see beyond the illusion. We have to see beyond the constructed narrative. And that is exactly why I am stopping what I'm doing and talking to you today. Look, we need your support. We need to have a national network connected and unified that provides the medium and the motive and the opportunity to fill the gap of absent men in order to properly socialize young black males so that we produce a new generation of black men who are prepared to take on the challenges of black manhood. That's what I'm calling you to do, support the work. All the information you need to get behind this will be attached to this video. I'm challenging you, I'm calling you out. I'm sitting up and saying, we can talk all day, we can create all these platforms, we can march around and and display our level of knowledge about all the different things we've become knowledgeable about. If we don't take action, we fail. If we leave these boys to, to the wilds of what's in front of them, we fail them. We fail ourselves, we fail our community. It's time to take action. I'm challenging you. Let's do it. I'm out.